So today on Two Wheel Cruise, we've got a really interesting bike that we'll be reviewing. This is our first mini velo review on the channel, so we're pretty excited. And we've actually got two different bikes with two different setups that we'll be showing you. This is the Road Mini Velo setup. So this bike company is called Stain Cycles. They're based out of here in Taiwan, which is where we're staying right now. We came here for a nice cycling vacation, but unfortunately it's been raining almost every day for our entire time here. So we wanted to film this video outside, but it's literally been raining all day, every day. So we haven't been able to film this outside. So we're gonna film this inside in our apartment. But as you can tell, this is a really unique looking bike. So we're gonna be going over all of the unique features about it. And just for comparison, I'm sure you already know, this is what a normal road bike looks like. This is the kind of bike that we're usually riding. So if you're new to mini velos, the main thing you'll notice first is that the seat post is extremely long and also the wheels are pretty small. So these are 20 inch wheels. So unlike most standard mini velo bikes, this one is really sweet. It's completely modular, so you can build it up whatever way you want. You can see that this one is nicer spec than our road bikes back home. This one is decked out with some sick SRAM Red E-Tap shifters, and also it's got some disc brakes on it, which is extra nice. So this bike has been crazy fast. The frame is made from aluminum, and the guy who runs it, he's actually a professional bike designer. He's been designing bikes for over 20 years. He's designed some really popular bikes, including the Birdie folding bike. So this is his pet project, his new project that he's been working on. They're really popular over in Japan. And we're really excited that our first mini velo bike that we'll be riding is just one that's super sick like this. It's been really fun riding these. Unfortunately, it's been in bad rainy weather, but we had some fun. If you hadn't checked out our last video, go check it out above here. We did a nice fun cycling video here in Taiwan talking about why Taipei is our favorite city to ride in. So go check that out if you haven't yet already. So this is a one size fits all frame. Tuing and I are riding the same frame, but completely different setups. Mine is more road performance oriented. So it's got the SRAM red. It doesn't have the standard shifter levers that you have. This is just for the brake. For the actual shifting, it has buttons here on the inside of the hoods. So you just push those and that'll activate the, the shifter. So that's really cool. Nice simplistic design there. So with this being one size fits all, the way that you adjust it is you just extend the seat post however long you need it to be. You can then move the saddle back and forth however you need. And then you can use different length or angle stems to get the proper angle that you want. I, of course, like the more aggressive position, so I got my stem facing downward. The frame does have one built-in bottle cage mount here. You can see in the down tube. And one other cool thing I really like about the bike is the front logo here on the front of the bike. So the owner of the company and the designer of this bike, he's actually from Belgium. He's a former racer. He's raced all disciplines and a pretty accomplished downhill bike racer from what I've heard, racing in multiple World Cups. And that really shows in our test rides on the bike so far. We haven't noticed too much of a difference in handling on the regular flats and on the climbing. Um, the bikes are pretty light actually, surprisingly, but we did notice the biggest difference on the downhills. Even Tunchan, she's not the greatest of descenders, but she noticed on the downhill, mm -hmm. the handling is a little bit more responsive. Mm -hmm. So what did you think of the bike, Tunchan? Yeah, there was this fun little S section where we went back and forth on the bike path and she really noticed it then just the having to switch from turning left to the right it didn't go out as wide as it does with a normal road bike with the bigger wheels so yeah. we definitely noticed some quicker handling <laughs> like that yeah. so this is my bike that i've been using next let's show them your bike Yes. yes okay let's put this bike back over there the other nice thing with mini velos is they are a little bit smaller than road bikes so they can fit in some smaller places they're also pretty easy for bringing on the trains. And next, this is the bike that Tunchan has been using. So it's the exact same frame, just a different frame color. And you can see this build is completely different. You can see she's got the wider rims on here and also the wider tires. So this bike can actually go on some gravel and some rough stuff. It's designed to go everywhere. However you want to ride it, if you want it as a road bike or if you want it as an adventure kind of touring bike, you can do either way. Uh, this setup is pretty sick though. 
It's got the more comfortable big tires. It's got the front rack if you want to put some luggage on there. We didn't test that out. We don't have any luggage bags right now to use with that. Um, we've also got this cool fender attached on the back. That's not really part of the bike though, but it is cool to see how it fits on like that. The other interesting difference with hers is she has a one by setup up front. So she's got all the gears on the back. Whereas my bike had the double up front with the SRAM Red and the E-Shifter. So you can put whatever system you want on there. If you're a fan of one by drivetrains, you can do that. It's also got the cool golden rims bling bling. And Tung likes a more upright position. So you can see we changed the stem on hers to be facing more upright so she can get a more comfortable position for her. And she's got the standard rival shifters here on the front of the bike. So it just works like a normal road bike. So let us know which one do you guys prefer if you were to build up your own custom mini velo like this, which one would you do? Would you do the adventure bike setup like this or would you do the high performance road bike setup like this? Yeah, it's a tough choice for me. I do like my like high end road workout rides, but at the same time going for some adventure rides is pretty fun. This is how the logo looks on the front of this bike, by the way. It does have a couple of different other mounting options on here, I believe. So yeah, apologies, we couldn't film this video outside. It's just been really bad weather here, our whole time here, unfortunately. We were able to film one ride video talking about our impressions of these bikes while cycling here in Taiwan. So again, check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. If you wanna see more information about this company, I'll leave the website link down below so you can check them out. They're also on some different social media. These bikes have been really solid for us for our time here in Taipei, in Taiwan. So we also wanna say a big thank you to Stain Cycles for lending us these bikes during our time here in Taipei. They've been really fun to ride and we just wish we had a little bit better weather so we could have enjoyed them more, but it is what it is. So we're actually just getting ready now to head out and head back to the bike shop where we pick these bikes up from. We're going to be filming a bike shop tour there, but unfortunately it is still raining outside. So we're not going to be filming any ride videos outside. So make sure you stay tuned for our next upcoming video where we're going to be doing a really cool bike shop tour here in Taipei. So we'll see you guys in the next video.